Do we have mic? Oh, no, we don't. Okay, that's a pro. Wait, no, we do. Excellent. Cool. We're off to a good start already. Oh, gr <laughs> nice echo. Nice echo. Shut that. Um, hello. Hello, everybody. Um, how are you all? How are all you doing? I got the uh, blue light glasses, uh, you know, so that I don't uh, burn my eyes out. <laughs> like I can see my stream uh, lagging. I, I should probably shut this. Shoot. Okay, there we go. Shut that. Shut that. That way we have it nice and clean. So how are you all? How, how, is, how is your Friday going? Sorry for the delay. Sorry, sorry I'm late. I had to take care of some things. Um, you know, last second Friday stuff. Uh, let's see here. Who do we got? Hello. How are y'all doing? We'll just wait a couple more minutes. So, so yeah. Um, what a week, you know. Usual, usual stuff. Um usual craziness but it's friday now so that's that's cool um i'm kind of tired i'll be honest but we'll, we'll keep this stream uh casual we'll keep it casual and fun uh because today uh we are going to be looking at an old drama kind of like how we ended the last stream uh we're going to be looking at uh the carpentersville saga the ep yes the epic carpentersville uh saga and um basically uh, we'll we'll get into it in a couple minutes but um i'll just kind of wait to see if anyone joins us here feel free to say hi hi in chat hello i'm sorry i hope i'm not like being uh, like calling you out too much. I should get some music. That's that's what I should do. Uh, unfortunately, I apologize. I really haven't had time, uh, to like really make my stream, uh, you know, more, more user user friendly. Um, and that's my bad. I, I've gotten really busy this week, and I, I apologize. Uh, next week we should um have it under control if i stream tomorrow or sunday it might not be under control by then but by next week it will be um that week just got crazier than i expected it would be or this week rather it was really nuts um let's see here okay sorry i'm just looking at the i i need to remember to put this here because uh, that way we can we can see more clearly and that that way I'm not talking away from the mic I need to get us some music you know what let's play some background music we'll we'll hopefully I don't get copyright claim for this and there's a bit of a spoiler there but that's okay that's okay I need some music We'll listen to, um, shoot. We'll listen to the Pathologic soundtrack because that's been the soundtrack of, uh, that's way too loud. Hold on. Let me fix that. That's been the soundtrack of, um, my, uh, COVID. We'll just, uh, play that real softly in the background there it's real softly some good music uh i'd recommend giving it a listen even if you don't like uh the game itself the music's great um we'll wait a couple more minutes just a couple So 
Sorry, I'm, I'm still getting used to this format. I believe this won't get copyright claimed. Because uh, as much as I, I respect um, the composer of this soundtrack, uh, I believe his name... Let's, let's give him a shout-out. He deserves that. Uh, what's his name? Hold on. Oh, hey, Tim. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm really happy that I got the OBS set up this time. Uh, I feel like we have a good system here. I, I know I still don't have like a nice professional headset. I'm working on that. Uh, but I feel like positioning the mic this way, since it's hypercardioid, uh, helps us at least not be... Not be the worst audio. Like, it could be worse. Um, sorry, I was going to give this composer a shout-out. Uh, I believe his name is... Uh... What is this guy's name? Uh, the the original pathologic composer. A Andreas uh, uh, Gan Gandrabur. Great music. Great soundtrack. It actually introduced me to the first uh, pathologic game. But I'll shut up about that. So basically what we're doing tonight is we're going to be watching uh, some old... Hold on, let me... Because we're about ready to get into it, I think. Um, we're going to be watching this right here. Which is um, an old uh, drama that unfolded on the internet. Uh, which is basically this village in Illinois. Uh, <laughs> Carpentersville. And uh, they had basically a bunch of weird drama uh, that was uploaded by this one guy, uh, Grant uh, Crowell. Oh, I'm a bit tired in a few things. Oh, I'd recommend, and I'd recommend using Reddit to, uh, ooh, good, good point. This seems interesting, ooh, ooh, yeah, thank you, thank you, Tim, I, I'm, uh, yeah, be best of luck, uh, that's, that's all right, if you, if you have to head out, uh, you know, final Friday stuff, that makes sense, um, yeah, be sure to tune in uh, later if you can. But if if you can't, that's that's totally fine. Um, I'm sorry, lost my slipper. That's a good point though about Reddit. Uh, I don't have a Reddit, I'll be honest, but I can work on that. I can get that. Um, best of luck with uh, best of luck with what you got going though. Um, but anyway, what we're gonna be doing. Is watching this uh, watching some of these so basically I fell down this rabbit hole because I was watching uh, some uh, nice mental blank I was watching some videos and I fell down the, the uh, public uh, town hall rabbit hole which is basically like recommend yeah oh I suppose to yeah you're all good. Uh, <laughs> happens happens to the best of us. Um, so fell down. I fell down the rabbit hole of like, basically, I I um. Uh, I fell down the rabbit hole of watching a bunch of uh, videos that were basically um, town hall rants. You know, like public public. Uh, publicly broadcast things or like you know people had every right to record them um if they weren't publicly broadcast i should probably close like the rest of these tabs yeah just so we don't get cluttered um but yeah publicly broadcast and this one guy uh this guy here grant uh crowell basically chronicled as you can see for like 169 videos chronicled uh the the uh craziness that was uh carpentersville illinois um uh board because they basically elected a bunch of like according to him and according to people in his comments as we'll see uh they elected a bunch of 
um, essentially like immature uh, people to their board, or at least that's what they come across. I don't know these people personally. I probably shouldn't make any character judgments about them. And I really don't. I, I'm just speaking clearly on, or, or sorry, I'm speaking purely on what I'm seeing in these videos. And what I see is a lot of immaturity. Uh, and people point this out in their comments. Um, and yeah, I just thought we would have the pleasure of watching some of it. So the one that we'll start with is... Where is it? As you can see, we're not obviously, obviously we're not watching uh, all 169 videos. That's, that's a bit much. We won't do that. Cause I might want, I might get to, excuse me. I might get to some system shock too. Um, where's the video? The, there's one that's um, the one that went viral. There's one of these that went viral. I believe it's called the most outrageous uh, town board meeting. I'm really sorry. They have, excuse me, excuse me. Grant Cowell has uh, this all kind of under control, but, but, There's, there's obviously, there, there's literally a hundred videos here. So, uh, Bill Sardo makes unfunny joke. It, it all centers, uh, basically it all centers on like a handful of people, uh, including um, then president Bill Sardo. I don't believe he's the president anymore. And if he is, I mean, that we can still critique him because he's a politician. And um, let me take a sip of drink. sip of water um he's the president or he was the president so we have the right to speak truth to power or at least critique power uh so this is in total fair use i can't believe i can't find this video where is it f word yelled by Carpen carpentersville candidate at president uh minuteman threatens violence so you see, there's a lot of there's a lot of spicy content here, and we'll get to some of it. We'll get to some of it for sure. I just want to find the first video because this is the one probably a lot of people are familiar with. I might just look it up. You know, I'll just look it up. It, it'll be in my video history. Hold on, we'll get that. Get that video. I love this thumbnail. This is the thumbnail that I used uh, to promote the stream. Because uh, it's a great face when you zoom in. <laughs> it's great. Um, <laughs> and ignore that. Ignore that. Don't worry about that. Um, I'm stealing a lot of this from uh, Deadwing Dork. Shout out to him. Because uh, this this meme was one that he, tw he um, put in his own videos. <laughs> it's, a great, it's a great meme. I don't know why I love it so much, but I do. And there's his streams, so check out Deadwing Dork. He's he's better at it than I am, um, but he's been doing it longer. So I can't believe I can't find this video. <laughs> Let me just search it up. Uh, the most outrageous. <laughs> that's not how that's spelled at all. Regios Town Hall Hall, not Gaul, although these people have Gaul. Uh it should come up. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so this is the video, right? This is the one. Uh hold on. Let me make sure that the audio is good. Um, so this is the video. Am I still doing all right? Yeah, I think I am. Uh, like we're not dropping, are we dropping frames? Let me check that. Shoot, we are. It's only 0.3% though. I imagine that's not, 
the worst, right? 0.3% drop frames. That's like, that's not that bad. Um, so essentially what we're looking at here, this one went viral. As you can see, it's got 3 million views, 3,777,000 views. So it's pretty successful uh, for this guy. Um, and it's got 15K likes, 1.6K dislikes. I don't really get what that is. Maybe that's just a reaction to the fact that it's, um, you know, just it's government drama. It's, it's politics. It's not really exciting, or at least it's not exciting. It's exciting in the context of an outsider looking into it. Uh, like for me, it's hilarious. Uh, and I hope it is for you. <laughs> I really hope it is for you. If it's not, then uh, it's not. And I'm sorry about that. But we're watching this. So, yeah, let's just uh, let's get it underway. Let's react to uh, what Revolution amazing. Uh, OK, so actually, hold on. Before we start, I got to set up the context. Apparently, there was a guy on this board, this town hall board who like beat his wife or something like he was actually like convicted either he was convicted or he was uh charged like like it was a public proceeding people knew about it and he was still on the board and people were upset uh that that was the case rightly so i would argue like you know i'm not gonna dispute that i don't know enough about like all of the specifics we might look into that if if you all want me to uh especially uh, I'm not opposed to looking into that, but we can. Um, but for now, we're going to focus on the video, and we're going to focus on the allegations. We're going to pretend that they're true, or at least uh, for the sake of argument, pretend that they're true. Um, essentially, this guy, I believe his name is, uh, um, hold on, Ritter. Maybe it's not Ritter. It's uh, Paul Humphrey. Here it is. Men's is chief... Uh, Political opponent Paul Humphrey be removed from office for being convicted of beating his wife and do uh, do for sentencing when trustees Ed Ritter, uh, Judy Sigwald, who's another player. This is old, by the way. This is really old. This happened in 2008. Um, so this is not new. Um, but it was recorded on April 1st, which is funny. That's coming up. Uh, so, so basically without spoiling it, hold on, close that so we don't spoil it. But basically the village of Carpenter, Carpentersville, Carpentersville is hard to say, I'll be honest. Well, it's not, but you know, it can be if you're trying to say it fast. Uh, Seaville, that, that's what people abbreviate it as. I think we'll abbreviate it that way for the sake of simplicity. Um, they want to remove, they want him to remove, sorry, all of uh, his videos. Uh, that was, I should stop making them look bad as if um, I like how he liked his own tweet. Uh, tweet. Very nice. His own top comment, he pinned it and he also liked it. Uh, now, that is pretty scummy because people should be able to critique uh, people in power. That only makes sense. That's that's how democracy works. It's the whole point of the First Amendment. Um, but anyway, I'm not even. I don't care about the political like affiliation of anyone here. That's not what this is about. This is about uh, poor conduct. Uh, I really don't care what party they are. I have no stake in Carpentersville. I didn't grow up there. I have no reason to care apart from these videos. So just putting that out on the table. This is not meant to be a divisive stream. Uh, this is this is purely a reaction to uh, uh, the uh, public proceedings that have been recorded and put on record. Um, and yeah, so uh, you know what? That I think that's enough uh, setup. We'll kind of go through as we go, or we'll explain it as we go. If there's anything that's weird, um, anything that's confusing or convoluted, because I am familiar with the premises of this. Anyway, I'll shut up and we'll start the video. Um, resolution be 
determining Let me know if the sound is bad. I'll fix it. Love the slow quality, by the way. 2008 YouTube. I'm waiting for a second. So this is a meme that came out of this. Waiting for a second. Still waiting for a second. I've seen this video, by the way. Full disclosure. You know you're not going to get one. <laughs> you already made your speech, and so we don't want to hear it again. To be real honest with you. And real quick, uh, uh, Tim, if you're still listening, uh, I'll definitely look into the Reddit option. Uh, I just, like I said, I didn't really, I kind of wanted to just stream this week. <laughs> I didn't really think it, uh, think it out. And yeah, you can say whatever, like, that wasn't the smartest thing, but here we are. <laughs> I just wanted to, I, I wanted to do this because I thought it would be fun. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely look into it. We'll, we'll, um, we'll up the ante for next week and I'll also do some things to make my stream look better. Cause I know it's, it's really just boring right now in terms of like the, the visual, the visual appearance of it. Um, we'll, we'll look into that for sure. Thank you though for the suggestion. Like seriously, thank you so much. Um, okay. So continuing on, sorry. I'm just asking a question. It's okay. I'm uh, still waiting for a second. So he's like, he's like derailing this whole thing. I believe, what was the second? Hold on. We got to like get context here. Next item, resolution determining trustee position vacant. Okay. It's because uh, they, they were trying to determine... Uh, discussion about this vacancy and the va reason for this vacancy was this guy was effectively uh, this guy hold on let's get his name uh, Paul Humphrey was like convicted of battery domestic battery or something like that and um, he's he's trying to like basically basically there's some weird partisan stuff going on there's a lot of drama and we'll get into that but He's waiting for a second, though. That's what you have to know. I know you're not gonna get one. And he's not going to get it. You already made your speech, and so we don't want to hear it again. To be real honest. They don't want to hear it. So you're not going to get a second. <laughs> and he's, like, baffled. He's still waiting. He's still waiting. Five years later. Way more than five years at this point. Still waiting for a second. He's still waiting, guys. I love this. This is the perfect example. This is the perfect example of like getting bogged down in committee, by the way. This is like literally like what people talk about when they talk about uh, inefficient politics. It's this sort of thing where people like hijack the whole thing and like take the rules like incredibly literally. Uh, and that's not even I'm not even trying to be partisan with that. That's literally just like what happens. <laughs> This is like the perfect example of it. If you ever want like like a filibuster kind of um, or somebody just like hijacks the whole thing and makes it all about like whatever point they want to make rather than, you know, actually discussing the issues. Um, hold on, let's check. Excuse me. Um... Yeah, we're all good. Um, but yeah, so so yeah, he's he's like hijacking this whole thing. I don't know if it's wrong to critique him for that though, just because he's we're dealing with a guy who sounds like kind of a scumbag, frankly. Um, again, this is kind of like an outside observer's take, but you know, we're only we're not even two minutes in. We should keep playing it. 
So they want to. So they want to end this because it's boring. Oh, is it? It's ridiculous, he says. If the board determines that the time limit for making a motion is done, someone can make a motion to determine that there has been no second. I'll make that motion that there has been no second. Ample time has been given. Imagine sitting here watching this. In, in person, I mean. Thank you. So they'll second the lack of a second, meaning they'll move on. Keep note of that. He's trying to like reinterpret it. Yeah, there you go. Lo the lawyer is like, "Hey, uh, this this uh, Mr. Sardo, Mr. President, this motion uh, was not on your motion to to like move forward. It was on the motion. Sorry, this motion was not on your motion uh, to continue. It was on the motion to like can this and move on. So keep that in mind." And he's like, oh, that's not what the motion was. I have to say, this is a great drama. I have received from many, many residents and phone calls I have received from many, many residents that I am very disappointed in this board. This video is how I found this out about this, by the way. Have attended many meetings talking about improving our image. And your lack of wanting to discuss this issue shows that you do not care about this community nor our image. Hmm. As I have said, not only have I received emails and letters from residents in this community. I've received them from across the country. This is not setting a good example to our community. This is not setting a good example to any community. This part isn't as funny, is which is why I'm quiet. What I want for our community. This is not why I ran for office. This is not the example I want to set for this community. It's not. And I'm ashamed of this board because you're saying this is acceptable behavior in our community. And as President Sardo said, you are very much saying this is a sanctuary city for abuse. I, I guess referring to the battery of the wife. You know, I would just add to that. Uh-oh. Here I, we go. You know, Here he forward. comes. Here he comes. And there's, they're already saying, call the question. They don't want him to speak. Um which say whatever you will. We'll see that all of these people are, are obnoxious, so it's not a partisan thing. Uh, clearly, all of them are like immature and, and just pure politicians, you know, just totally hijacking. Like, they'll do whatever they can uh, to exercise their power. It's not exclusive to any one individual, is what I'm saying. But Sardo here wants to hijack or wants to carry on this argument because like she, she, uh, I believe her name is, what is her name? Uh, the woman who was just speaking, she basically made an argument and, and she was allowed to make that argument because that was moving forward and, and which, you know, she was allowed to make that argument, but then he wants to like continue it on. So let's see what, Okay, he's he's got a right to call the question, but uh, I'm just saying. By the way, nice pause. He looks like a, a horror movie character. Can you imagine? You can imagine that. Uh, shoot, you can imagine that being flashed on screen real quick, and you can imagine that that's like a really scary thing. But anyway, he is essentially hijacking the thing uh because they were like hey uh we can move on and i have every right to call this question because 
uh, these are the rules that we've set, right? And he's like, hey, uh, I can't, uh, you can't just like, you know, hijack this point that was made like this isolated point where she had like the floor for a little bit. You can't just carry that on. I have every right to like say, hey, no, we're moving on. We're canning this. Uh, and he's like, uh, no, you have every right to call that, but I just want to say. So he's just like totally ignoring that, uh, which obviously is against the law. I mean, he might be totally right. Let's just back it up so that we can get like the full context uh, once we play again. But he, he might be right. He might be morally justified, but <laughs> it's not really good conduct anyway. No, I would just add to that. We're not doing. I just don't I just care. No, you don't have a right to do what's not legal. This has not been seconded. What's which not legal any is what the court does every, every, there was no second, every two weeks. There is no discussion. There was a second to can this. He's thing, so angry. You can tell he's like hiding something. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, because it's convenient to you. Trustee Sarah was is correct. We don't operate under Robert. <laughs> this Rules. attorney, this Rules. attorney has to deal with all sorts of like back and forth. I I don't envy this attorney at all. It's moments like this where I'm like I don't know if I want to be in law. <laughs> Look at Sardo. He's like smirking. I like how they have to have a t an attorney because they're just so bogged down in committee. <laughs> like they're so they're so like uh, immature. They have to have their moderator there. I don't know if that's that standard practice. Uh, I, I could be wrong. I don't attend town hall meetings really, um, and cast whatever judgment about me for not participating in my uh, democracy, but. I imagine most town hall meetings actually don't need a lawyer there present all the time uh, because they, they have some semblance of control over, over themselves. But there's like a schism in this board, and you'll see as we watch more of these, you'll see just how deep it goes. Uh, anyway. Because they're arguing... Keep in mind, they're arguing about they're literally arguing about whether or not there was a second to move on. Like, think about how mind-numbing that would be to listen to. Like, they, they're, they're literally arguing about whether or not they can continue to discuss the issue. <laughs> like, what amazing politics. <laughs> No debate. Only when it suits certain people do we have debate in this town. Only when it suits certain people. Yeah. The question has been called all right. All right. <laughs> the question is, why are you people sitting on this board? That's Ooh. The okay. The question has been called. You need to take the vote. She's so the upset. The question is, why are you people sitting on this board? Who do you represent in this community? <laughs> The worst. Raise his hand. Very nice. Make sure you don't ramrod everything you want. Ramrod. 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 Everyone claps. 
you won't hate to say it. Insult me. Like, look how these people are like older. These people are like 15 years older than me. And I seriously would be more cordial during this. Oh my god. <laughs> Drinks water. Oh no. This board, not these people. If there was a I hope the voters out there are watching. Ooh, did you just say that there uh, hold on, I got to hear this. Sorry, I just I need to check. Hold on, I I I, I need to make sure that people know that I'm super late. This is my bad. It's Friday night. I was I was with my roommate. I was watching Twin Peaks, season three. Um, now, actually live now. I was watching that, and we got into it because it's a weird and addicting show. But we're live now. I'm I'm really sorry. We'll we'll get back to the video in like one minute here. There we go. There we go. All right, cool. Let's post that on all my stories. Hopefully we get some people. Um. Okay. Where were we? I'm sorry. Let's. He said like, he was getting all offended because he was saying Ramrod, and, and he did not like that. We listened to the lectures. Yeah. Okay. Here's what we're. So he's getting like the state involved. He's being because this was a big problem apparently. We could we could clean our own house as we ought to do, but oh no, not this town, not this this board, not these people. Not these people. Oh, yeah, okay, he totally did just say, like, the, if under a certain ordinance, he would be gone, which is a little bit scummy. Again, all of these people are, are like, really immature. It Like, there's no winner in this, it seems. It, it seems like they're all just, like, really petulant. <sighs> Excuse me. Hmm. Politics puts you to sleep. Anyway. President Sardo. President Sardo. President Sardo. Imagine being at this board meeting. And don't you ever defame me. Defame. It's okay for you to defame me. I just want to talk to my attorney. It's okay for you to defame us, though. No, I'm not defaming you. The question has been called. Yeah, they're getting really hung up on this. All of you, from the convict at the end to the woman whose son had sex with the convict's wife. Oh! Look at She was like... She's super bad, and I don't blame her. Wow. What a beautiful place. Go sit down. Go sit down. 
Unbelievable. Can you imagine? Witch hunt. Holds up sign. No. No. This attorney has like the patience of Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, I'm a motion to dying for lack of sight. Call the roll again, please. Yes. 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 No. Yes. Yes. Oh, hey, we've got a new viewer. Hello, welcome. We're watching some political drama, or at least, um,. Old political, don't worry, it's it's nothing serious. Uh, this is long past. Oh, Robbie. Hello, Robbie, if you're there. Welcome to the stream. Uh, this is old uh, drama, so don't worry. It's not, um, we're not talking about, uh... oh, hey, thanks for the follow. Um, hold on. It's going good. Thanks for asking. Um, and thanks for the follow as well. I believe that was you. If it wasn't, anyway, th thank you, whoever that was. It's really appreciated. Um, so this is old drama. Uh, so don't worry. This isn't like we're not getting heated on this stream. Uh, so this guy, apparently, he's, like, hijacking this whole thing. Uh, they're debating. They literally spent most of this arguing whether or not they could proceed. This 10 minutes was entirely about, like, a procedure uh, as to whether or not they, they could move on. So keep that in mind as he makes, like, one final statement here. Because uh, this attorney, this attorney is, like, managing the whole thing and is, like... Hey, uh, you know, this is what this actually means. And he's like, uh, yeah, I understand, finally. Yes. 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 No. Yes. Yes. No, and, uh, you'll all live and die with that vote, believe me. Whoa. Okay, he threatened. I'm glad it's on video. No, it's on... It's on the record for the voters to uh, decide. <laughs> it's on the record. So at least he knows. Okay, so that's that video. That's the, the classic... No, I don't want to watch Elizabeth Warren. And I don't want to watch Vosh either. Um, so that's the classic... Uh, the most outrageous town hall board meeting ever. Explanation point times three. Um... So we're going to go back to the playlist here. Jeez. Okay, now I'm getting all sorts of political recommendations, and I don't want that. Um, let, let's let's uh, quickly scroll around here um, real fast. Uh, Carpentersville. Uh, ooh, that, that, I don't know why that's catching my eye. How do we feel about this one? Should we do this? English only. So there was a big uh, immigration issue. I don't know how much we want to touch on that, just because that is kind of a hot topic even today. Um, I mean, this is like an extreme version of it, I would think. Uh, but you know what? There, there's other funny stuff that there's because obviously we're not going to watch this whole all of this because this is like hours upon hours of content. Um, Hold on. Let's do the hookah one. I, I've never seen that. That'll be a cold uh, reaction. Uh, where is it? Where'd it go? Oh. Hookah Lounge. Here it is. I, I have not seen this. This will be entirely new to me. Pause. Um, pause. Pause. Why isn't that? Okay, there. Uh, this will be entirely new to me. So let's see what they say. Uh, let's see what the, uh, the circumstance is. It's an ordinance amending the text of the Village of Carpentersville Municipal Code, Title 16, Zoning, Chapter 16. Okay, so a bunch of legal, uh, revising various regulations political ordinance stuff. And relating to 
The hookah lounges. <laughs> the hookah lounges. Okay, so they actually got their motions down. Good. Excuse me. Thank you. Well, excuse me. Ooh, zoom in on. There you go. We got 240p. Most recently, at the Planning and Zoning Commission on April 19th, there was a consideration of making a hookah lounge. A hookah lounge. I love this old. I love this boomer talking to me about hookah lounges. It's it's an important issue to discuss, though. If for a town, like if they want a hookah lounge there. Like uh, we had, oh hi, what am I doing? Uh, I'm watching uh, uh the Carpentersville saga, which uh, happens. When did this happen? Literally like a decade ago. Uh, this is a decade old thing, so there's no controversy here. It's just uh, <laughs> it's just entirely um laughing at at some absurdist humor uh absurdist political theater you could argue rye rye called me rye rye how dare you how are you doing now i'm sorry i should probably continue the video though um, but yeah, essentially this, this is like, this board was like notorious. Uh, this was Carpentersville, Illinois. Uh, apparently according, not to me, but to like comments on these videos, they were like notoriously, uh, bad, the, their trustee board. And, um, I'm working. Oh, well, uh, what's you working on? Out of curiosity. Um, but yeah, so, so these were like a trusty, uh, board and they were like notoriously bad. Um, oh, wait a minute. Are you, is that who I think it is? I think it is. Oh, it is. Oh my God. I'm, I'm, I'm slow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, so, um, this is an old thing, but essentially he, these, yes, it is. <laughs> of course it is. What's up? Um, what was I saying? I was saying something about the, the trustees. They, they were like, oh yeah, they were notoriously bad, uh, in terms of like, they were debating and arguing constantly. Now... They essentially got, so this video I have not seen. I've seen a few of these. I haven't seen this one. They're debating a hookah lounge being in their town, which to be fair is, is a thing uh, that, you know, is worth discussing in, in a small town. Um, so let's see what they say. That text amendment. just like to say at this point that um, I got an email today from uh, actually the Northwest Municipal uh, Conference. Okay, so I got an email. The state of Illinois has actually, uh, both the House and the Senate have approved a smoke-free uh, act, Illinois Act, in, in Illinois. Uh, it's likely that the governor is going to sign this. He's already indicated that he is. Uh, it passed the House by a wide margin. It passed the Senate by okay. a wide margin. And frankly, I think this this type of business flies right in the face of what the trends are currently uh, going on in this, uh, not only the state, but in the country. And I think that... <laughs> Wait, this, really? This I don't know. I, well, this was, this was 2007, uh, to be fair. <laughs> I think things have changed. Um... Because literally, I mean, I don't, not that I could admit to it, but I don't. Um, there's a hookah lounge, like, literally right down there. 
uh, from where I live. So, but then again, I live in the city. So, things have changed. I mean, that's his right. He can be against it. But I don't really care. <laughs> like I said, I literally have no preference. I'm actually serious. So I respect the work that they do quite a bit. He's and changed positions. He was over on the other side of him last time. I personally visited the, the Hoopa Lounge. Uh, uh, that, that fair uh, enough. That's okay. Uh, thank you. I, I'm glad that it's not, it's not bad, even though it's not your thing. That's totally fine, though. I appreciate that. Thank you. He operates in another village. We don't always do this. Sometimes we stream uh, games. I just I felt like streaming uh, something more passive this time. I, I didn't because it takes more effort to play a game, even though I, I enjoy playing games on stream. I'm, I'm still getting used to like the format of streaming and just like passively reacting to a video is a bit easier. Um, but yeah, th thank you so much. I, I'm glad uh even if it's not your your thing, uh, I appreciate the positive feedback. Did not find it offensive. I didn't find anything. We're gonna make the stream better though. Like like I I realize that it's technically not great. Like the, there's still some stuff we can do, and I, I just didn't get around to it this week. Like spicing it up and With everything. What was going but we on will make there. it better. Unfortunately, though, uh, if the planning and zoning has looked at this twice and. Planning and zoning is our guide, and it wasn't even like it was a split vote or anything. Then I have to agree with. Yeah, that. exactly. It is like talking to, which is frankly what <laughs> what I tend to do on my own anyway, because I'm weird, or at least I talk in my head. And also feel that this should not occur. I feel this should not occur. He says. You know what? This one, this one is not nearly as interesting as I thought it would be, unless they, unless they get like really heated later. Let's jump ahead. Hold on. Planning and zoning commission has backed by the thoughts and concerns of our residents. Oh yeah. Okay. Thank you for the offer. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. I'll, I'll let you know. That I would not support it then. I will probably. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Sending this back to the Planning and Zoning Commission and asking them to uh, reevaluate their stance, and it's come back again, zero to six. Uh, against... Okay, you know what? This one's this one's boring. Hold on, let's let's go back because uh, there are some that I, I've I've seen that that are way funnier. Uh, so uh, there's a poor image. So so like they obviously had a big discussion about their image because. As we saw from that first one, um, they are like a, known for like bad political debates because th they just get in these heated arguments and they go on and on and it's you know there like like here uh, Carpentersville excuse me Carpentersville is a bad soap opera he says Bill Sardo who's the president. Um, Let's see this video. Let's see what he says. Let's see what his amazing uh, self-reflective, uh, you know, excuse me, take some water. Um, drink some water. Uh, his amazing self-reflective, you know, beautifully uh, introspective uh, philosophical approach to unpacking the problems, the political plight of Carpentersville is. Uh, let's let's get it underway. Let's see what he says. And that is, um, you know, the resolution determining the trustee position to be vacant. And I think it's important. Still talking about this vacancy. That, um, you know, a lot of a lot of discussions. Been made a lot of uh, a lot of it's like fidgeting. About, talked about and talked about, and people have tried to make it other than what it really is. I mean, the fact of the matter okay. is we need to do... Don't explain what it is. What we need to do is, as a board... Just uh, explain what your opinion is. ...on what is right in our community. And this isn't based on any personality. It's not based on any 
a past, uh, you know, differences that anyone has had with anybody on this board, but it's based on what is correct, what is lawf lawfully correct, what is legal, and our village attorney uh, very, uh, I think, uh, judiciously put together a five-page <laughs> memorandum. Five, five page memorandum, a whole five pages. Very good information in here. I'm, I'm sure it was. I'm, uh, I'm just being. And, uh, you know, when I was at this. Uh, I'm just being there was uneducated. There, along with myself from uh, Cook County. And all 10 of those mayors uh, expressed their concern about what was going on in our village. Hmm. And I want to tell you, even the Secretary of State, Jesse... I was, I was going to say, even the sucker of state. <laughs> like, what the heck? That would be the worst. John Wick, who had been a former... John Wick. Uh, uh, ...state representative here in this community. And Jill came up to me after... Jill Wick. Uh, ...Secretary White had finished his uh, remarks. And uh, I've known Jill for a number of years, and she said to me, she said, Bill, I don't understand what's going on in Carpentersville. It's like a bad soap opera. What, what is going on in that community? <laughs> okay, so that actually wasn't from him. That was a quote quoting people, someone else. Uh, okay. Want to believe this or not, Unless he agrees with it, which seems like he does. close attention to what is going on in our community. And it's embarrassing, frankly. When I get out into the I need to full screen. It. Hold on. Even though it's it's so low quality. The state of Illinois, I hear disparaging remarks more often than that about our community. They don't understand why uh, we have these types of things occurring. They don't understand why a trustee would uh, uh, do the type of things that uh, one of our trustees has been convicted of. And okay. That he can remain Beating his court. wife. That was uh, the thing. They don't frankly do not understand it and they express those concerns to me they said quite frankly how can anyone believe that they can uh, commit a crime like that be convicted of that crime be charged and found guilty by a judge yeah and not see see this was that. this was unclear because they say he was convicted but some people say he wasn't Clearly, there's some political nonsense going on. We're not concerned with that. What we're concerned with is their conduct. So we got to remember that. And, and you know what? Like, whether or not these are true. And here is, I, think the I don't really care. that This is ancient history. So that, uh, Rhodes put together. This is all ancient history. This is all in, in total fair use, total jokes. To not serious at all. Commonly accepted principles of honesty and decency. And I challenge anyone sitting in this room that lives in this town to tell me that we are now going to be known as the community that has a standard so low that we will allow a person who has been found guilty of a crime involving using a weapon against another individual to remain <laughs> this is pretty bad <laughs> or a person in authority on our board this is pretty bad I find that incredible i mean to be fair he's not wrong <laughs> at least i wouldn't the same if somebody was outrage to me there is a that seems right like now, a problem i don't know <laughs> Now, here's the thing with this. I, I got to interrupt because uh, this is apparently, according to the comments, uh, this was a thing. How can people bash him? Because Bill Sardo is right. It seems like he is. Uh, but he's also he's also part of the soap opera. But anyway, at least according to all of this, and as we saw, he, he was kind of like an instigator. Um Somebody said, I gotta find the comment. Where is it? That's where I got my title. Um, 
people are talking about how addicting it is. Uh, where is it? Okay, until I find it, I'll just explain. Somebody was like, uh, hey, that informal blog was on his website. What? You mean that was successful? That was literally like literally hours ago. Literally hours ago. How how is that the case? Whatever. Anyway, somebody was literally like, "Hey, that website or that poll uh, that I know of a website that's doing an informal poll." That was literally his website. So, uh, conflict of interest? Uh, what's that? Uh, <laughs> where is it? Come on, where's that comment? It was it was at the top. I might have missed it. Hold on. Excuse me. Uh, uh, somebody needs to make a movie. Uh... If you're convicted of domestic violence, you should be fired, which I'm not going to argue um, because I agree, frankly, but whatever. Um, where is it? Where is it? I'm sorry, but... The writers really got it. His character arc is coming together. Everyone thinks this is like a drama, like, you know, dramatic manga. Take a shot every time he says this village that would kill you. Jeez. Um, he's still looking for a second. So that's a meme from the first uh, video that we saw. The one that went viral. Wait, and this was from six days ago. So I'm not the only weirdo who's actually still watching this. Um, so that's good. Um, yeah, we're still recording. Good. Um, <laughs> it's like an evil twisted. Okay, so I, it, obviously this is not good content so there was a vote like they're explaining the vote and why 96 to 6 is not a good ratio or something i don't know but anyway you'll take my word for it i'm not lying why would i lie about this i have no stake in this this is ancient history at this point but yeah that was on his website apparently according to some comments so well, right now indicates that 96 people who have logged on to this and voted 96 people have voted also llamas 999 is that you robbie six people i'm sorry for the call out that he should stay 96 to 6 96 to 6 Thank you, though. Thank you for so following. You know, it's much appreciated. Like Seriously, I'm being serious. 96 to 6. No, hold on. Let's get that again. No. There we go. Six people. Six people. Out of 96 to 6. Six to six. <laughs> Turn that into like a, a soundboard. That is the overriding opinion. I don't care what the signs say out here that people are holding up because these are all obviously people who are friends of. Oh, they're all paid. They're all paid actors. And this has nothing to do with friendship. This has nothing to do with political party affiliation. This has nothing to do. But it totally does because. Because he's your opponent. What is this community Clearly. I mean, it, it, he can be your opponent for like every right reason. Like, it, oh, I, I take a stand against abuse or whatever. Like, I'm not arguing that. But he is your opponent in that there sense. Are, standards. are we going to be a sanctuary community for people who abuse their spouses? This is pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Do we want to 
want to see happen in this village. And the overriding opinion was we need Keep to Keep in this was the image. guy who was like throwing personal we insults need to earlier. Our image. He was like the the convict at the other end and the guy uh, the woman whose son had sex with the convict like he he was throwing out all sorts of insults. And then people were like, oh my god. Convicted. And charged, tried, convicted of domestic abuse. Okay, so so we get the picture with this guy. Uh I wanna show Come on. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I wanna show Judy Sigwald, because she was pretty, she had some spicy takes. So the hookah lounge video was pretty boring, ironically. They were just like, oh yeah, we don't, I don't know if I want it. Which, you know, for 2007, it's not bad. I, I mean, okay. I don't have a real opinion on that. I mean, it was 2007. Like, that. that's ancient. Illegal aliens getting to vote. So so clearly they had some sort of issue with, uh, you know, people coming in. The president needs to be corrected. He's not fo following the law. And the, the thumbnail is that attorney who they have sitting there so that, so that they don't totally derail the, the debate. Oh, this is, he threatens to remove audience. So so this is a public um, proceeding. Like, they clearly have made these public because they let this guy film in here. Let's see what this is. Okay, our first item on the agenda for this evening is... One last thing with the president here. And Carrie, if you would please call the first person from Carpentersville. Okay, I'm walking from the camera. Very professional. I'm going to say this probably before all of the uh, board meetings so everyone here understands the uh, situation. And that is that uh, we want decorum in this room. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we want decorum, all right. In the past, but, uh, we want that same type of love. Ramrod! Ramrod! <laughs> <laughs> not me though uh, I should be able to shut down we'll see videos of shutting down audience that happens I'll show you an example of that in a second still waiting for a second nods okay wow okay that was okay and then it's a boring hookah lounge video where is it? Where's the video where he, he gets in a shouting match? It's called, like, he gets in a shouting match with Constituent or something. Immigration. I, th this is some highly specific issue. I don't know if we want to dive into that. This one's pretty brilliant. We'll get to that in a second. It's a bad soap opera. We just saw that. Oh, here it is. Wait, no, no, this isn't the one. This isn't it. It was, um... I almost want to see what this is. Also, Binder Gate... Okay. We'll get to the shouting match in a second. But let's do this first. I would like to inform everyone here, and also those great... I haven't seen this. So uh, the minute man humiliated by a raunchy joke. Who weren't able to make it here, but maybe watching this in their homes, of what I am calling a public service announcement. This Saturday, August 11th, members of Minutemen Midwest, of which I am a proud card-carrying member of, and also the vice president of this group. Okay, proud card-carrying member. And IFIRE, which is the Indiana Federation for Immigration Reform and Enforcement are holding a demonstration at the Chicago office of the NCLR. For those of you who don't know what the NCLR is, let me explain. Okay. This is the National Office ready. of La Raza. La Raza, for those of you who don't understand a foreign language, means the race. 
Whoa. In other words, the National Council of the Race. Uh, the race be asking. According to their website, the white race. The largest national Hispanic civil rights and advocacy organization in the United States. They work to improve opportunities. Okay, is this actually like some white genocide thing? One of the biggest supporters of illegal aliens. Yes, it is. It's totally dog whistling. Great. <laughs> anyway, we'll be demonstrating in front of their Chicago office, which is located at one. I mean, that's your right, but <laughs> you've every right to do that. Downtown Chicago. We'll be there from 11 a.m. till 1 p.m. If you don't have plans for Saturday and would like to come out and join us, so he's plugging his he's, he's plugging his demonstration. Flag. Wear your American flag like I am, because because I, I am what. What is he saying about La Raza? Because uh, I'm a patriot, you know, even though we're made up of immigrants, here I am. Anyway, Citizens, like... Show this what I call the racist National Council of La Raza. Oh, okay, yeah, white genocide. Citizens who care about our country than the illegal aliens that they care about. Thank you. Bravo, what an amazing speech. I hate to get... Like actually modern political there, but Next person, please. and that's your right if you don't. I don't agree with that, but I mean it's your right to speak out if you don't like it. Do I really get a whole hour to speak? I think I'm special. Okay. <laughs> that's the first time. I love those adjustable so mics. When I hear the word Minutemen, somehow in my head I picture a support group for men who just come too quickly, but that's me. <laughs> Ah, ha. ah, it's so good. All right. Seriously, I agree with you. It was. Well, why didn't you gab him? You already said it. You could have corrected him. Is that a joke? Circus is coming down, people. <laughs> uh, okay. That wasn't nearly as funny. Come on, man. You're now clickbaiting me. Binder Gate is pretty funny, though. Because. It's about as absurd as it, it sounds. Uh, well, this one's actually funny. This will actually probably be the whole stream. There was a website that was noted, and I went to that website, but I was a bit disappointed because um, I saw a lot of negative comments about board members, and um, oh, and, and you think. Just, <laughs> the board that literally like tears itself apart every debate every uh not even debate these aren't even debate these are these are like trustee things these shouldn't have debates during them this is not a debate forum <laughs> okay there there we go talking about exactly that Basically, just wanted to, um, you know, give a little reminder that, um, you know, the website, village website, supposed to be for information only and not for uh, campaigning or anything. And, um, you know, and I thought Mr. Sardo would know about that, and so I was just Sorry. pretty disappointed. Thank you. So she was disappointed because. There was partisanship on a website that was clearly just supposed to be an informational site. So that so it was clearly supposed to be. Sorry, let me pull up my chat. Um, error loading. What? Okay, we're good. Um, so so clearly it was supposed to be an informational site just to like get information, uh, but somebody hijacked it. <sighs> Oh, excuse me. Um, somebody hijacked it, and yeah. It, no, the next item. So this is that guy who who is like, oh, anyway. you you ought to know you're not gonna get that, and he 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 has like the mustache that you'd expect uh, a guy with that sort of voice to have. I'm just being honest. I don't want to talk about, but I guess I don't have much choice. I don't want to talk I'm about it. Refer to uh, the recent January nineteenth date. When I was getting ready to file petitions for people to run for offices. And I had my okay. petitions all bound up. 
Oh, in a, in what? Like yeah, oh, with binder, at, you say. Just as I left home, uh, Trusty Hines can attest to this. He gave me a couple of additional... You see, he, he can he can corroborate my story. That I know this story might not seem like it's going over, but it goes directly to a very important issue. Somebody was trying to cut him off, and he so just I kept going. Those loose papers and my bound papers, and I brought them here to Village Hall. And I needed some place to take them apart. I didn't you want see, to uh, yeah, apart when you transport apart. papers. I'm not, I'm not the uh, most delicate person. Okay. So I went into Manager Anderson's office. Oh, you know, uh, transporting papers is hard, you know. Uh, it's only not something we all have to do in uh, K-12 through education. So do you have a flat space where I can take my papers and unbind them and put the two new forms in and number them up? Like, literally, you get marked down if you lose your homework. Like, come on. Get your act together. Those cabinets over on the side and work there. Well, lo and behold... Uh, like, don't lose voter information. It's crucial information. Someone wrote an email or a blog and accused me of taking the binder clips from the manager's <laughs> office and proceeded to make a long explanation about... Imagine it. trying to debunk an oft-repeated oft conspiracy of your town that he took <laughs> like it's clearly bait either either it's somebody trolling or it, it's somebody who's like so far into some weird local conspiracy theory that it's not worth addressing why are you addressing it come on i thought you were a career politician how that makes me uh, a bad person and I'm <laughs> i have to refute the q and honors <laughs> No way, shape, or form are we harboring a satanic cult. So stupid that I'm not even going to respond to it. But then somebody called me and said, you know, even so you if acknowledge it. Those, it wouldn't be a big deal. And right then and there, I realized what was happening. Character assassination starts with little lies. And as a oh, lie, yeah, okay. Another little lie, and then another. And that's easy to believe a big lie about someone. By the way, it's tomorrow. Saturday. So I have to address this. I We're probably going to go for another I like do, I'm an honest person. 20 minutes. I do not borrow village equipment. I don't take village equipment. And for someone to say that I did is pathetic. Oh, is it? And if you have any doubts about it's my pathetic. story, there was another person in the room. And I think they will. Agree. I had a high school teacher who once called us all pathetic. Because uh, a lot of us, it was a math class. It was like uh, trig, trig two or something. Oh, it is fire. I'm sorry. It was trig two, and uh, he was really pissed at us. And he he got up in front of the class and talked about how pathetic we were. And he was like, "Pathetic. You're all pathetic." Is great. I wasn't really in that list. I'm not just saying that. I, I actually put in a lot of work. I wasn't very good but at, at the stuff, but I put in a lot of work. I can't say the same for everyone. And we all kind of knew who we should be talking about. I'm sorry. So this is Bindergate right here. He lost his binder clips. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't lose valuable paperwork after 60 years. I did not even touch. I did not touch the village binder clip. It's not true. I did not touch it. I did not. <laughs> Oh, hi, village. And this has nothing to do with the upcoming election or anything like that. It has no, no, I'm sure. Village trustee being accused of something so stupid as that. And if it's so stupid, why are you talking about it? That's enough. I said more than I wanted to say, but if you... Oh, the, 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 the QAnon honors are accusing me of, of, of being a pedophile and uh, the drinking children's blood. And I just need to get up here and talk about how stupid it is and how it's not worth my time to address it. And <laughs> Any questions? There's 
somebody else sitting at this table who said a lie, and there's somebody else who witnessed the truth. And you can ask them uh, how that could have happened. Okay, so so you get the picture. He leans back, and he's he's being he's a fade to black, and somebody I think Sardo talks again. We don't need to see that. These videos are. Okay, here comes um uh, oh, I don't want these foreigners coming in. Uh Okay, our first item on the agenda. Okay, uh, which you have every right to think. I mean uh, somebody was honking. You have every right to think that. I mean I'm not gonna I don't agree. But you know, that's that's the beauty of democracy. We don't have to agree. Um and you, we don't have to force each other to agree, you know. We can speak with our votes. Uh, and that's the beauty of it. Where is... Okay, so there's videos. Here. This one's pretty good. I am not. So this is this this uh, Judy Sigwald. Or, yeah, Judy Sigwald. I almost thought it was Linda Sigwald. But it's, Judy Sigwald had some beef. Uh, in this video, in su in Suu video, Q video. My husband, my son being This one's louder, hold on. All because I believe a certain there individual we go. on this board was railroaded. He was railroaded. railroaded by certain individuals on this board. Do we have closed and caption? Time, yeah, let's see what hilarious closed caption course, YouTube auto generates. Do you? Including Mr. Kalyazinski and a woman named Linda trying to talk Mr. Humphrey's wife into recanting her grand jury testimony and going after my son. Now, many, many people don't have a clue of what has been going on. thing is, I would full screen these more often. Uh, the problem is I just... Uh, I uh, uh, look at the quality. It reminds me of the Game Dude Dinosaur video, which, you know what, I, I might I might play that as an intermission. Disgrace this village in their witch hunt. We choose to try and keep some sort of decency by not airing what's going on in the public. Sunday morning, my husband went out to get the newspaper. And in the bushes of my home, was a flyer. It was the flyer that everybody received. Act now. Remove Paul. This and that. On the bottom was a message written. You don't support illegals, yet you support a criminal. Okay. Grow up. Get an education. You low-class lady crossed out white trash bitch. Ooh. Now, the phone number on this flyer wow. matches People are mean to politicians. I'll say that. I mean, they have every right to do that. His phone number was on a police report. Ladies and gentlemen, no one has an idea of what's been happening. And you betcha, I will stick up for Mr. Humphrey. Because you I've known him betcha. Years. I've been in that house for three years, and I have seen the abuse for three years. Has it been on Mr. Humphrey's part? No. No. I have seen what this woman has done to my home and my family, and then insisted, came up in my bedroom at night. Whoa, she's like yelling. Nobody knows these facts. Nobody, Nobody knows. But Mr. Kalyzinski and a woman. Kalyzinski, yeah. Try talking. Nice his job, wife YouTube. Auto generate. My son has been hounded at his job. I almost lost my 28-year daycare license because they have interfered with my livelihood. My son had to leave our home. And like I said, anytime I have every fact and piece of paper and police report to back this up because I am not a liar. I want to go on record stating that I asked Mr. Anderson Mr. Anderson the billable hours that our attorney has spent on this crusade to get rid of Paul and 
not just recently, but from three years ago. This crusade to get when rid of. Very him, dramatic. He pledged unity, and the first thing he did when he took his seat was ask Paul to resign. So Here's the thing. When you pledge unity, that also involves getting rid of people you can't unify with. Not saying that's what actually happened, but, you know. We are at $6,000 of your taxpayers' money on a personal witch hunt. And Manager Anderson said it would likely go higher because there are many calls. Okay, so, so she goes on. She goes on about this. So the, he's innocent because he would never do that. So it's a totally fallacious thing. I don't know if that's true, but he, she's saying I know him and he wouldn't do it, which is literally you could say that about anything. And uh, he's wasting your money. I would like to say we received our attorney's opinion. And I but yeah, like her at the beginning was the funny part because she was like shouting. Whenever they shout and act like children, that's that's when it's funny. Those are the funny moments. Hold on, real quick. I I'll be right back. Here's what we'll do. Game dude dinosaurs. Uh, I'll be right back. Uh, but in the meantime, enjoy this video uh, by our boy uh, Game Dude, who is an AVGN ripoff. Um, anyway, that's all I'll say. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. This girl on the club. My major fluke. There's Alana. She says, hey. And then I say, whoa, hey. And it's awkward because I'm grinding this girl, right? And uh, very unexpected. I did not, you know, I did not plan for her to by major fluke show up and i was drunk i'm at a club why not did not plan for her to run into me you know uh so dancing away uh oh and uh she steals the spotlight because she is so beautiful so i'm like well sorry baby uh you and i uh, let us dance and danced we did. Yes, sir. -y. And then I thought she was being shy. Go away, wasp. Uh, she said, I'm going to go hang out with my friends now. I say, okay. Promise to come back for more dancing later. Yeah, I promise. And I'm like, huh. Well, she promised to continue dancing with me later. Okay. Uh, hey, baby, what's up? Yeah. Uh, so. Next thing you know, I see her. Is later now. She promised to dance with me later. Later is now. Uh, bye bye. Oh. So and then I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Imagine. Yes, Hold on. <laughs> Imagine tuning into the stream. As I play 
the game dude's amazing. <laughs> this amazing dinosaur epic. This two hour long video. Uh, th that's a totally different thing. Watch Deadwing Dark stream. He did a better job explaining it than I ever will. <laughs> but I but I hope uh, we all enjoyed that intermission. Um. We'll do probably one more and then we'll kind of call it here just because it's 12 30 a.m i'm getting kind of tired i'll be honest i'm not really a night owl uh and i feel like we've gone for a while here but as you can see there's a whole treasure trove there's 169 videos worth of uh sorry someone's shouting out there um there, there's a whole treasure trove of content as you can see so there's the table table the ordinance which is kind of funny uh, but it's not really, it's not really what we're looking for. We're looking for that, like, really big political theater. Threatens to remove audience we already looked at. It wasn't that big. At least I think we already looked at it. I don't remember. English only law. Okay, wow. Um, something about illegal aliens, uh. Damn it. This is the one. Okay. Here it is. This one's great. This one's actually probably the best one. Members of the board, in the last meeting, the president stated that there would be no more discussion about the ordinance that we had been discussing. It's obvious that the president does not like the resident's input regarding illegal aliens in the pop during the public comment portion of the agenda. It's also evident that his interpretation of what's relevant... By the way, these glasses are giving me are, like the little marks speakers, on your nose. His own bias. This is not about the ordinance. Ooh. But it, it is about the subject that we have to deal with. No, no, this, I mean, the, the problem is... Hey, let, me, let me just say this. The pro and I'm not, this is in the debate. The this is in the debate as, as I proceed to debunk you. Board that's willing to discuss the illegal immigration issue. So therefore, this is not a debate. As I proceed to like derail the whole thing. Further discuss this. So you know to categorize this as it being my decision. It was not my decision. It was the decision of the board by not. Oh, it's not me. It's everyone else. Willingness to second a motion on three different occasions to actually discuss this issue. So therefore, the issue itself is out of bounds, and we cannot talk about it. We can't really talk about the decision that was made because that is the decision. Hmm. So that's that's out of bounds, also. Okay. Well, uh, Mr. President, I think the uh, public comment ordinance clearly says there shall be no debate in matters raised during the public comment, and also this is our comments of burdens that we bear, not burdens that the board compels right. us to bring forth. We're bringing to you issues that we are concerned about, not things that you want us to bring. And this is merely repression of dissent, as I've stated in the past. But as I said, this is a matter that has not risen to the level of village business. Therefore, it is not allowed. Not everything under our rules that we have adopted, that is our rules. Mr. President, not everything that comes before you is <laughs> Not everything. Business. Not just because you don't want to talk uh, about that. Yeah. Bob, we've talked about this for nine months. We've decided that this board, this current board, does not want to discuss this. Oh, we don't want to discuss it. Therefore, the issue can't be raised. Like, what? It doesn't mean at some time in the future this won't be a fair game again. But right now, until this board decides to do that, it's not fair game. So I cannot allow you to continue. I feel the ruling of the president. Yes, thank you very much. I second that. I'm still waiting for a second. <laughs> Okay, you would say call him, roll. He's appealing the rule of, of the president. Uh, yes How dare you appeal the rule of our, of our glorious leader? Would he allow Mr. Spalazzo to continue, correct, uh, Attorney Rhodes? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
big pause. Yes. Yes. No. Oh, okay. Time to derail. Imagine, imagine. So if you're going to change the rules, you know, then that's another discussion. But the point is, the rules that we have adopted, I'm enforcing. You know, whether you guys want to, you know, overrule my opinions, you know, what you're really overruling is the rules that you guys approved. We all approve these rules that we're going by. And if you... If you say it's okay for people to talk about a subject that both our village attorney and myself uh, agreed... Zoom in on this, his low-res Deus Ex 1 face. You know, Hold on. We have made rules that we can only talk about things that are village business. So if, if he's allowed to speak about this, then I would expect the board to be willing to talk about it itself. Are you guys willing to talk about this? Sorry. Pardon? Not in the format that it was currently presented. Well, then it's, Look. Out, of, it's out of bounds. Because His Deus Ex 1 face. There we go. We have deemed to be not village business. J.C. Denton. was taken, and I'm sorry, Bill, you lost. So you can just stop arguing because we've already voted to let the man speak. Okay, so have oh. we, what I want to know then, have we overturned our rules that we have adapted? Have, I'm, I'm sorry I hit the mic, by the way. It's the cardinal sin. I'm sorry. That's a problem. We have rules, Ed. We have rules, and if we're not going to abide by our own rules, then what are we? I don't really need these anymore. I'm adjusted to the to the lighting. We're fine. And what's the purpose of us holding meetings if we're not going to abide by the rules that we, as a board, have set? I have these marks. What's the purpose of us abiding by a meeting? <laughs> Yeah, he totally had derailed the whole thing. The whole thing got derailed. Whenever you're ready. Claps. Or uh, pounds gavel and leaves people clap. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> he can't listen he can't listen to to the people who are like overriding him so i think that might be it at least for this i don't know if we want to uh chat what do you what do you all what do you all think let's do it the inception style uh visual here what do y'all think about um, this current state of affairs? How should we continue? If you have a preference. If you're able to talk, it's okay if, if that's a no. Like. That's certainly what it seems to be, and that's fine. I'm not, I don't really have much of a preference in terms of what we do. If we do anything next at all, it might be. I, I'm still, like I said, I'm still getting you, like I said last stream, I'm still getting used to the streaming format. Um, and I, I'm slowly trying to train myself to go longer each time because this is a little bit longer than, um, what we went last time. So I'm still trying to train in terms of like streaming for at least like three hours, but uh, we've been going for like almost two. So I'm getting there. Uh, it's not perfect, but 
it's a start and it's a process of you know, like learning how to do it i feel so so we'll give it like a couple minutes i'm still waiting for a second the stream, uh, I believe we're called, but we were going to play System Shock, but I'll be honest, I'm, it, it's getting a little late, and I'm about ready to kind of go to bed. I'm an, I'm not really an night owl, I'll be honest. Like, I'm fine, I'll, I, I'm fine with being up until, like, one, but beyond one, like, I kind of get, starts to throw off my sleep schedule, I'm not a huge fan. I know some of y'all are able to be like 3 a.m. people. Not really for me. <laughs> Again, I was watching Twin Peaks Season 3 with my roommate. Um, we've been watching that show. It's a good show. It's just really wacky. Uh, and essentially, it would, that went longer than I thought it would. Then again, I should have figured because each episode took an hour. Excuse me. Each episode's like an hour. And we watched two. So I should have figured. And then plus I had dinner. Crap. My pizza is like still sitting out. I need to like pack that up. <laughs> maybe maybe we should call it. Yeah, I mean we've almost made two hours. So so we're getting better and we will continue to get better. Um if that's okay with you all. Uh, I think I think I'll call it then. Um, thank you all so much. Wow, thirty-seven percent. Look at that. Thank you, thank you so much. Those who did show up, it really means a lot. I'm really thankful, <laughs> even though you know it's a humble beginning. But you know what? That that's totally fine, and it's greatly appreciated. Uh, in fact, it was more. There was more engagement this time which was great it was a lot of fun honestly i actually really enjoyed it so thank you all so much uh and be sure to tune in next time uh for the next stream in which i may actually play a video game i may actually be in the mood to play a video game so thank you thank you so much